Howdy! How's everybody on YouTube today? Hope this all finds you well. I'm uh, getting ready to do a little painting here and I'm getting my computer all set up so that maybe I can try to keep this in the <laughs> in the camera realm today. I seem to have some kind of an issue with that. I don't know what my mental block is, but hopefully I'm getting that under control. We're going to paint this plaque. It's got these flying geese on it. I've engraved this on this wood plaque. It's basswood. And uh, I've stained it with a pecan stain. Just a simple pecan stain. Uh, it's made by uh, Minwax, and you can get it at Walmart. It's, you know, nothing nothing fancy going into this. And my paint is all apple barrel paint that I got at the Walmart store. I got black and white and brown here, and I'm going to be mixing some to get the tones and things that I want for this plaque. And um, I got my micro brushes out. I've got my, my little brush like I was using yesterday on the painting. Uh, I may not use that much on these because most of this area on these is going to be small. Micro brush is probably going to do the trick on what I need to do here. But we know we're going to need black and we know we're going to need white and we know you're, we're going to need some brown. So let me get some, some paint out here on the, the table. I may move the camera back a little bit so you can see my palette too. So let's see if we can do that. Well, we've got the palette up here at the top and the picture right there. All right, I'm going to take a palette knife and get a little black paint out. I'm just going to start with a little bit to, to start with. And wipe my knife off. So I don't contaminate my white paint. Put the lid back on that one. Keeps it from drying out. And keeps me from spilling it. I'm going to get the white paint. I'm going to take a little bit out of that jar. I'm going to put that down here on the table. Wipe my knife off. Keep my tools clean. Then I'm going to get the little brown paint down here. because I'm going to need to be mixing some of that into this. So we'll put a little dab of that. They call this color nutmeg brown. All right. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start in with a little bit of black. And up here on the beak and the front of the head is black. So we'll just start right there. I'm just going to touch that in. So let me just touch it right in to the front of that head, right up to the lines. Then we know that the neck back here is going to be black. So we'll just come in with that on the neck. Get it all filled in good. Then we know that the wing feathers, the tips of the wing feathers, out here on the edge, those are black. So we're going to come in and stroke them some with the black. Take it right to the tip. Just pick up a little more as you need it. I'm just doing each feather where I have engraved it out at a time. I'm not trying to cover over on my engraving lines. I want them to show through this paint. I mean, you're going to get some paint on them. There ain't no doubt about it, but you don't want it so thick that you can't see the lines coming through it. So you just go gentle with it. Now, the outside wing is going to have just a little bit of black on the tips of that. And I'll just kind of drag that down just a little bit, just a touch. Then we got another bird back here. 
And there again, I'm going to get the, the front of the head with the black, get his neck with the black. And get the wing tips. Uh, I mean, just the tips back here on this because this is supposed to like be showing further away. So you don't want to make that all garish. They even use that word anymore, garish. Then this wing. I'm going to get all this wing tip out here black. Take it right to that line. And out here to the front line. Fill in the center. Now on each of those lines, I may come in with just a just a little bit of lightning with uh, some gray to show them off just a little bit. We'll see when we get to that point. Bring out those lines a little bit, make some definition to the feathers. But first, we got to get the base in. Okay, so we got the head and the wings done with the black at this point and let's see what else does he have this black well his feet seem to be black um got a picture off here to the side of flying geese and the tip of the tail back here is black so we're gonna get this color this in black back here and this one's got some feet right here that's black Okay, now let's check him out just a little bit more. The underside of the wings, I've got several pictures here trying to get a good, good picture of what they're showing as the undersides of the wings on the flying goose. They're pretty dark, but they're not black dark they're going to be a gray and the upper side of the wing is also going to be gray up in here a grayish brown looking color and then the body is going to be a grayish brown but there's going to be some white back in here on him and this part back in here is going to be white so let's do that first let's do the white before we go to mixing and up on the face, he's got the white stripe. So let's get a brush here for the white. A little bit of white there. And a little dab up here on this end. And then we'll get this back portion back here it's got the white and same over here and then we can go to mixing some colors for the body all right now i'm going to take my palette knife to do the mixing with i'm going to take mostly white let me get my cameras angle set back up here so I can see what you're seeing all right just a little bit here for you okay we'll get a little white and just a touch of that black and we don't we don't hardly want much black in that this black will take over I think it's 
We'll leave plenty to start with. Then I'm going to put just a little bit of this brown in it. And I'm going to mix that. See what color we come up with. Mix it all in. And that's coming up with like a It's not quite a steel gray, and that's good. I don't want a real dark gray. But I want it a little browner, I think. So I'm going to put a little more brown in that. See where that takes it. And not quite enough. So we'll get a little more brown and put in there. There, that's helping. Kind of a brownish gray that I'm going after. And that's that's looking pretty close. Maybe a little more. That's looking good. It's almost a mud color. I'm a, <laughs> kind of a gray brown mud color is what I'm going after on the goose. And we're going to pick up a little bit of that with a brush. And uh, notifications popping, 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 popping. Get some of that stuff off of here so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I may have to go with a little lighter gray on part of this, but we got to get started somewhere. So let's go with under these wings or up the back of the wings. We'll just come in along the line. I'm going to pull in that out. Now I'll be blending in a little while here with the tip of the wing color. But for right now, we're just trying to lay this in as your background. We can always lighten or darken whatever we need to do, but you got to have something to lighten or darken, and that's where the background comes in. Got to get the base on it. That song they sang a while back about got to love the bass, the bass, no treble. <laughs> That's getting it started. Now, we're going to need, now, he'd look good just like this without doing any more tune. That ain't bad at all. But we're going to want to dress that up just a little bit. And I'm going to come in with just a little bit of black here at the wings. And kind of blend it right into that. Just, just a touch. It don't take but a dab. See how far that goes? Just a little bit of that black to, to blend it into the body. That's even too much. Get a little of that off there. Blend it up on the wings a little bit.
and the back of him is a little dark so we'll, we'll put a little bit on the back to darken him up some now I want to give the illusion of feathers on this and for that I'm going to need just a tiny touch of white might even mix it in with a little bit of black over here. Now, I'm going to need a little more, but we'll mix it with black in there. So we'll mix that in there to come up with a light gray. <clears throat> Mostly down here on his chest. Just give him the illusion of some feathers being stippled on there. This. That's just to highlight some feathers. Give it a little feather action. And I want just a tiny touch of white. Keep him an eyeball up here. Okay. Now, give this in an eyeball too. It might be a little big. Let me see if I can dab a little of that off of there. No. Yeah. We can always go back in with a little black around it, fix it. There we go. Just a little eye. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> now, this, and as far as I'm concerned, it's done. I think I've done a pretty doggone good job on that. Now we've got to do this. And again, we're going to come in with that brownish gray color. Take it right up to the black. We're going to be blending that in a little bit. Right now, we're just going to put it in as the background, as the base. And just like I always tell you, if you get your paint a little thick in one spot, that's okay because you can drag it out. Just grab that paint and drag it across. To fill in the area that you need to paint. If you get way too much on, you can always take your paper towel and just dab it up. Just blot. You don't move it around, scrub at it. You just blot with the paper towel. Okay, so we got that part. Now, come up here. Get a base laid in. Like I say, we're going to lighten and darken what we need to lighten and darken. But we've got to get that base in first. Check out any places that you might have missed with the paint. Get the paint on. Okay. See a little place on the wingtip here that I missed. Most people wouldn't care, but I do. I'll make sure that I get it covered. There's another little spot over here on this one.
Okay, so that gets that. Now, we got to go to fixing him up. The belly on the goose is a little lighter. So we're going to put just a little bit of white along there to lighten it. I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to blend. See how harsh that looked when I put that white down? You're like, oh, good golly. <laughs> but you go to blending it in and it don't look quite so harsh. As a matter of fact, it could use just a touch more. So we're going to put just a little bit more white in there. Just blend. We can blend that clear up on the back because if we have to, because we're going to come in with some of that lighter gray. We have to mix up a little bit more of that. So we're going to take some white, and put it over here on the palette. Just a touch of black. Mixed in to make the gray. Just keep mixing. You can always add whichever one, white or black, that you need. If you need it lighter or you need it darker. Whatever it is you need to do. But you got to start somewhere. Okay. Now. We're going to go to working on him a little bit with this and trying to start out, figure out where I want to start with this. Well, let's start with this wing here in the back. Go to blending that in. A little bit back there. And then we're going to come up here on this one. And just, I'm going to speckle it on. And then I'm going to blend it in. Blending it into that brown. Just to lighten it up just a little bit there. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of this color, this brown gray, right along the edge of the wings, and or the wing tips, the black wing tips, and then I'm going to put a little bit of black in that. Because now I'm going to blend that in. Just to give the illusion of feathers there on the wings. Maybe just a little bit more of this color. Maybe just a touch of white. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'm going to take, uh, let's see. I don't know. He's pretty close to perfect at this point as far as I'm concerned. I'll take a little bit of this light maybe. Lighten up the belly just a little bit. This light gray. Getting carried away. Take a little bit of alcohol. And we'll 
catch that with just a little alcohol right there. Wash out my brush first. Wipe him down right there. Where I got off just a touch. See how you can fix things? If I come in with a paper towel, I just dab that right off of there. And clean that up. All right, now got that done. Let's see. Taking a look at my pictures, and I think maybe on the underside of the wing he could be just a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more white, just a touch, and I'm gonna dab that around on there. Then I'm gonna take my brush and wipe it down good, and blend that. Just to make it a little lighter underneath that wing. And you see the direction that I'm going. I'm, I'm going the same direction as feathers would be going on that wing. And that gives it the illusion of the feathers on the bottom of the wing. We'll come in on this one just a little bit on this one to stripe him some feathers down across his wing. And then it comes this direction as it comes off the body. So we'll stripe it that direction a little bit. Whichever way the natural flow of the body is, that's the way you want to take the brush. Just giving the illusion. And now I'm going to come in with a little bit of black right up above that little feather line there. Just to rub that out into those feathers. Just blending it. And there we go. There's the geese. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did check out my Etsy store, my Patreon channel, my Twitch channel, my Instagram, my Twitter. You can follow me anywhere. I'm Brenda G's Designs, every place you look. And if you have any problems, look in the description of the video right there, and it gives you the links to all that stuff. You can follow me any place. And uh, I guess then, with all that being said, just give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Share it on your social media so everybody gets to learn how to be crafty. And um, Brenda's crafty. <laughs> Be like Brenda.